It's my first cook video and this delicacy is called fisherman soup. <laughs> Guys, do make sure to keep watching as I take you on the step-by-step -step process on how to prepare this sumptuous delicacy. As the name implies, it's fisherman soup and it's basically prepared with seafood. This soup is easy to prepare, it's pocket friendly and it's sumptuous and delicious at the same time. Please do well to give this video a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. So here are the ingredients for the fisherman soup. Let's start with this one. This is um, Nkonko. I don't know the English name for this. Sorry, guys. I'll tell you guys maybe later. And here we have shrimps or ndegebu. Maybe you people will call it ndegebu. And here we have isam or mfi or periwinkle. And this is okra for, you know, to add color to the food. This is uziza leaf. And here we have snail fresh pepper i love my soups to be really really spicy especially fisherman soup i love it really spicy and here is crayfish and palm oil and here we have onion and some of the spices we have here no cube i love no cube salt to taste cameroon pepper as i said before i love my soups extra spicy and then lots of fish i love this seasoning so much and finally we have the fresh fish this is the fresh fish i'll be using for this soup i've already washed it with um cold water so let's start cooking Dark. Okay, okay, here we go. I've already washed the fish with cold water, properly washed and everything, but I have to use hot water to remove the slimy part of the fish and wash the fish properly. So I have to soak the fish first in hot water and make sure to get rid of the slimy areas of the fish. So you leave it in hot water to rest for a few seconds. Let me just cover it. So this is a few seconds after soaking the fish in hot water. You see this whitish thing here? This is what I need to get rid of. So now I'm going to have to take my time and wash the fish properly, getting rid of all this slimy stuff. Now that the fish is properly washed, I first introduced my chopped onion. And after which I introduced fresh pepper. 
As I mentioned earlier, I love my fisherman soup to be really, really spicy, hence the much pepper. But you don't have to put so much pepper in yours, just put the quantity that you can endure. You don't have to put so much. And then in goes my seasoning cubes. Here I'm using no cubes, or you can use any seasoning cube of your choice. But I am using no cube here. And then salt to taste. And then my lasso seasoning powder. After this, I put in a little bit of water. Once I'm done with this, I don't always place the fish directly on the heat or fire, whichever. I have this belief that I have to leave the fish for like two minutes to let the seasoning get into the fish before I place it directly on the heat. So I'm just placing it after a few minutes. Of letting the fish <laughs> receive the seasoning <laughs> anyways now the fish is on the fire and then I cover the pot now that the fish is slightly steamed I introduce my snail after which my shrimp my school children shrimp <laughs> And then I allow the pot to cook. Now that the pot is properly cooked and the fish is ready, I separate the fish from the stock. And in doing this, guys need to be really, really careful. Handle the fish with care because any slightest mistake, like any mishandling, the fish will break, like it will scatter inside the pot. And we don't want that. Sometimes I do this with my hands, but since the fish is still hot, I decide to go in this way. And then I pour the stock which has the snail and the shrimp into another pot. And then I put in a little bit of water, considering I have extra water from the fish stock. Just put the quantity of water that will serve you the soup. Now starting to make the soup proper, I put in my fresh pepper again, but you don't have to put extra pepper in case you don't want yours to be really spicy. I love mine to be spicy. After which I put in salt, Cameroon pepper, and then my crayfish. And a little bit of onion give the pot a little stir then cover it and let the pepper cook for a while once this is done you put in your palm oil Give it a little bit of stir, put in the nkonko, as I said, I, I had this spawn snail, my mom told me spawn snail, I had to call her to find out the proper, the English name. And then this is the perinko, isam, mfi, whichever name you know it for, and then some diced okra. After a while, I introduced the extra stock I had extracted from the fish, which has the snail and the shrimp in it. Give it a little bit of stir and cover it to cook. After some minutes, 
I come in with my thickener. This is pounded yam. I actually pounded the yam. But you can go with yam flour or cocoa yam flour. Whichever thickener you want or you want or you're familiar with. Just you use that. So I'm flattening the pounded yam. That's how I always use mine to enable the soup ticking on time. So I flatten the yam and put them in pieces into the soup. Once this is done, I don't cover the pot. Leaving the pot open helps it thicken faster. So I just leave it open and let it cook on its own. As you can see, the soup is it's thick enough. It's not supposed to be as thick as okra soup, but it's thick enough. I'm beginning to remove the pounded yam, making sure my snail doesn't go with it. <laughs> My periwinkle radar doesn't go with it. And trust me, this yam is really, really nice. I would eat it later. Just remove it, set it aside, check to make sure there isn't any more in there. And then I begin to put in my fish gradually into the pot using my hand. This time, since the fish is now cold. <laughs> And you guys, you really need to be careful to make sure the fish doesn't break. Once I, once I do this, I begin to turn the soup a bit over the fish, being really, really careful. I stir the fish in the soup. Just do this and make sure the fish is properly covered with the soup. But do it carefully. Allow the soup to cook on its own for like two minutes and then I pour in a little bit of okra and then uziza. You can put a little uziza, you can put much, you can put plenty, any quantity of your choice, that's okay. And let it cook for a minute or two. is ready yummy right as you can see the soup is ready to be served guys if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do well to subscribe to my channel turn on the notification bell so you'll be notified whenever I post a new video please give this video a thumbs up if you really enjoyed this video leave a comment in the comment section down below let me know what you think about this video so, as you can see from this video, this soup is very, very easy to prepare. As I said earlier, it's very pocket friendly. It's yummy, it's delicious. As you can see, I'm dishing my... <laughs> and, um, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one. This is Fisherman Soup and make sure you prepare one for yourself. Bye. Fisherman soup and make sure you prepare one 